what's up everybody it's nerp here and we're back on the test server and uh, this is what I've been able to do with mono order including the first two sets of waypoints so um, so I'm still tweaking it I don't love it how there's so many uh, different scrolls that only if there's two of them but um, it seems to be working okay when I'm playing other opponents in the hard AI so I added in the storm knight Arbalister Night Sergeant. Um, I don't love having three five drops, but I guess it's okay if you're having two six drops, a seven cost spell. Um, I was seriously considering putting in the new uh, Squire to make more things knights to get like Royal Skirmishers, Ducal Skirmishers, Wing Shield, Ducal Mitchellman to be counted down by the Night Sergeant and helped out by the Fields of Strife, but tried it out a couple of times, I don't think it's really that worth it um, because her on her own is not a knight either and I'd much rather have I don't know maybe, I, may, I might try adding two of her instead of the two duplicate infantry that might be a good idea, I'll do further testing on that but here so it's uh, kinda like the most amount of order decks, like game order decks on the test server right now so you got your Arbalister with speeds and tempo thefts you can really make him go ham, um, but I haven't been able, I haven't really need to use him in past matches because he's just a nice curve. I only have two. I don't have many lower cost units. pieces. only two aging knights, two Yuglomitrimen, and two royals royal skirmishers, and two wing shields. So it's like less one twos and three drops, and then you get to your big your big boys. Uh, so from knight scholar and to the right is all knights. And AJ Knight is also a knight, of course. So Ducal Mitrimin, Rust Skirmisher, and Wing Shields kind of feel out of and Ducal Skirmisher kind of feel out of place, but I feel like I really need the Relentless from these guys. And it's, it's, it's nice to have the Wing Shield protection when I need it. So it just ramps up how you think. No Rust of Beam Potions. Uh, feels Struck you didn't know. It's a Lingering Spell. Uh, all your knights basically get extra attack. Um, for a couple turns, so it's pretty good, and there's a lot of nice in this. So it's kind of more like a win kind, actually. I don't love field strike because there's not many knights that have relentless, so it doesn't really work that well. Actually, no knights have relentless, but you could make a knight that has relentless if you put a squire on the row with the skirmisher. But yeah, I'm still testing that with squires and for the ducal infantryman. So yeah, you'll see another match with me versus the overlord, and I hope it's a good one. So uh, enjoy. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Um, eh, pretty bad start here, actually. Probably a little better. I will keep hold of the focus. Yep, I'm using the new cards. Okay. Pretty good there. I can play an aging knight. Okay, we are going to get Overlord on Skype, and he's going to sing. All right. Never mind. Sorry about the hype there. I'm sure y'all got so excited to hear him sing. Pretty sure he like saying like like the Swedish like national anthem like on the Harvest World podcast once or something. Him and Sisp, I think, sing or something like that. I think they're both Swedish. Not totally sure. Um yeah, so it's pretty awesome. Uh we're gonna keep the Arbalister. Okay, so we'll probably have a dead turn, and then I'll be able to go Vanguard Arbalister. Only way I wouldn't have a dead turn if I top deck a 
four drop, and the four drops in this deck are, I think I've, there's three four drops. Uh, there's two four drops. There's Night Scholar and two Ghoul Skirmisher. Ooh, we top deck it. And I will sacrifice the Arbalester. And get out the Night Scholar, and I will move down. And we're gonna put the Night Scholar way up in front. Way up in front. Alright. Doesn't have the five health it used to, though, so it's not the ultimate wall. But I really just want to protect against like a a Ragged Wolf, Staghart, Ragged Wolf, Crimson Bull, or Ragged Wolf Champion Ring. Be or double Ragged Wolf. Because I would rather this take some damage than this Asian Knight who's about to attack die. Looks like uh Double Lord has good protection there though. And he's probably gonna get both of those behind that. And if I can get a focus, that'd be really good. Do I sacrifice the Vanguard hoping for a focus? I think I do because I know I could play the Royal Skirmisher if I don't get it. So I think it's a risk worth taking. I did sacrifice focus already. Also, if there's a paw there that wouldn't do it. Um, if there's a paw that Duke Lynch it would do it. Let's see. Nope. Did not work out. Oh well. Um, and now it kind of looks bad because I would have been able to go for the old... I would have been able to have a straight curve up if I stack for resources there to general and then imperial resources. Now, doesn't look like he's playing the deck I played in my in my growth video for the Death Server, so I don't think I'll have to be worried about like some surprises really next turn. So I don't think I want to destroy these rats to be honest. I kind of want to get out of the way. That's just what my gut's telling me. We'll destroy one rat, I think. We'll go ahead and destroy one rat. This age unit is not too, not too useful for me. Once I have those big units on the board, we're just gonna forget about him. He's probably gonna die, even if I move him up, he'd probably be dead before he attacks again anyways. So, I could bait him up to destroy that age unit, and I can come down with those skirmishers, but I don't have any busting face in my hand. Or speeds, but he doesn't know that it's overlord for all he knows i could have a busting face and a focus in my hand so he should watch out um so i might have a dead turn next turn just sack for resources or actually it's nice this nice scholar is going off as long as this nice scholar lives which is not that which would actually be pretty surprising because it's like ragged wolves and enchantments into overlord's deck but if that thing survives i'll be able to draw a scroll which would give me further um, another way to decide if I'm going to sack for scrolls. Oh, that's good. That is good. So now what do I want to do? Do I really want to show that rat? I don't think so. If he has a rally next turn, he probably wouldn't be able to play anything else besides like a one cost creature. And that would, would that kill me? Five and then two is, how much tell is on this row? 10. Um, so that's seven, so I'll destroy this guy. So that's annoying. Um, or you could like do other stuff and do a lot of enchanting. I'm going to run away, I think, and draw a scroll. Because I think I can come down when I'm ready. This Storm Knight would be pretty good for coming down when he's ready. He just comes down by himself. But Knight Sergeant, I think, is better. I do think Knight Sergeant's better. I'll be able to move down like a big blob later. And Storm Knight's not relentless. Not saying Knight Sergeant is, but Storm Knight's not relentless, so. It wouldn't be like I don't think it's it would be uh oh my what am I trying to say it probably wouldn't be a game changer because it would best run down there just to destroy like a rat or something um these things are not knights remember they are relentless I have you know the square would be good here just to make those knights but Okay, there's the all right. That's the whole turn at least. But he is going to be able to destroy that and get two units, uh, two more units on the board. I have two skirmishers going off, so those those guys are dead. I'm not going to move down because these two things are attacking. So I'll just kill these guys, and I feel relatively safe this coming turn. So I'll just be able to play the general, and the general is going to. I want to protect this guy now. This guy's going to be very vulnerable to a kinfolk veteran, but. We're gonna go ahead and take that chance. 
and get a general, a general down too. And the general is going to be at one countdown after this turn. So if I draw like a blessing of haste, that could be cool. But then I would have to decide if I want to play the imperial resources. All of the decisions make make it make it easy for me. Game just like have my have, make me top deck like like a like a eighteen knight or a really low cost creature, <laughs> so I can just sacrifice sacrifice it for resources and play the imperial resources. Then again, if I'm really threatened next turn, I probably won't play the Imperial Resources. But I'm not threatened just yet, because his units are not that threatening, and his only real threatening unit is pretty low down the board. And unless he gets like an extremely lucky rumble with Crimson Bulls and stuff like that, then I think I'm pretty safe. But he's moving up, and that scares me. That scares me a lot. Uh, I just hope he doesn't have a veteran this turn, because I'd like to keep those relentless guys alive. I would like to keep them alive. If there were knights right now, it'd be amazing. These guys would attack next turn. But a blessing of haze would make them attack. So if I top deck a blessing of haze, I'm probably going to play it. So this is Stagheart. Fields of Strife. That's not that good for me. And then the growth matchup, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be that good. Because you want those relentless guys, and the relentless guys don't even get it. Um so we're just going to play the Imperial Resources and hope he doesn't have like a rally that's gonna like crush my face next turn and if i sack for cereals i would have had a blessing of haste and that would have been awesome uh so we are kind of sad but it's okay i'll go ahead and destroy destroy you and use my big fat general as protection here okay and he does have a rally and he gets the stat card ow that hurts a lot <laughs> now i don't have pushbacks i don't have purifications how are we gonna destroy that thing there how tell me how um at least that skirmisher in the back lives Rally Stagheart. Well, well then. He is top decking. He is top decking. So as long as he doesn't top deck another rally next turn, we're probably okay. Speed, blessing of haste. Uh, what do we want to keep? I'm going to sacrifice the speed. Yeah, speed with our blaster, so good though, so good. Sacrifice the speed. Um. Now I kind of wish I had the speed for the Honorable General. Actually, it's not a big deal. No point in I'm hasting this turn. I'll just put down the Honorable General. In the... Prime back. If he has a rally next turn, I'm kind of screwed anyways. I'll just hope he doesn't is not able to top deck one. I'm going to put the General in the middle. Could work either ways probably um so as long as this this guy lives this turn this general will be at one count in where i could just bust and paste it and put it next to like a ducal skirmisher or a knight sergeant and stuff like that so i think we're yes he moves down he moved down that is awesome it's the best thing that could have happened he moves down it means that he doesn't have a rally or he was just really stupid and he had a rally, but he did not. Actually, maybe he had a rally, but didn't didn't want to use it. Didn't want to waste it and be his 8 attack or 9 attack. Wouldn't be able to destroy the general. Maybe. So now we can do awesome stuff. I can sacrifice a resource and play the Skirmisher and the Night Scholar with the Blessing of Haze. Let's see where we are right now. This this is for health that's annoying. Um, if I go like this i can go it's gonna be hard to show this thing to be honest three plus three is six three three and then that does one okay so i'm going to sacrifice the skirmisher for scrolls please please focuses and stuff like that a vanguard. I think that's good. 
Um, so then five, and then I don't think it's enough to destroy like all the stuffs, but should be okay. So let's go like this. I don't like wasting that six attack just on a an easy little better there, but I don't want to just let him plow through the row. This this big six health is kind of in the middle of the row protects that guy in the back. That was pretty good. He was able to get some good ramp from that eventual better. Um, we're both at eight resources. We're very similar in card advantage and card and resource cards and resources. But at this stage in the game, order probably snowballs much faster and it's much better. But I have, to, I have to watch out a little bit. He was able to get a little bit of L damage off, so was I. Um, I think we'll probably be safe for another turn. Or maybe not. Sister of the Owl. The new Sister of the Owl, what does that do again? Does that have two Owls? No, only has one Owl. Um, so what was, it's just a race of six and it's a three, two, five instead of a two, two, four. Uh, okay, I have a speed, so we're probably not going to be playing the Imperial Resources this turn. If I speed you, what the heck happens? I can kill you and kill you, so I think we're definitely doing that. And I'm going to sacrifice the Knight Sergeant just because I want the card draw of the Knight Scholar. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, I don't know. Um, so yeah sorry about that or er, kabonk speed is five we're gonna go with that so we don't or no we'll just kill it normally okay so let's go like this speed three six three and we will draw a scroll instead of five metal damage Wait, I thought you were supposed to get six. Okay, so the the health buff was was taken away from that. I was race six cost, and she became a three two five. I think that's pretty fair, especially with the new change to flying, where you don't actually lose your count. Your counter doesn't actually uh, raise when you move to an adjacent tile. So this is when mono order really shines. That speed is big. And now he's gonna have to probably climb back with like god hands and stuff. Um, I think this is a good chance for me to Imperial Resources though. Yeah, probably a good chance for me to do that. So I will go ahead and... Mm. <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice this first. Arbalister. I will go ahead and play the Imperial... You go like this. You in front, you might die. Um, and I will go ahead and not do it. I don't know what made me change my mind there. I feel like Pale Resources would just put me at a risk that he has stuff to kill me the next turn, like destroy my stuff. I mean, there's a very small chance we'd be able to do that. I don't even know if it would be possible for him. I feel like this is much safer. Okay, so he's going to jump on the opportunity to kill my general. Which, um, for next turn, he wasn't that important anyways, because this vanguard is going to buff this skirmisher, and he's going to destroy stuff, and hopefully I can destroy this. I should be able to with a focus. Fields of Strife is good too. Let's see. Or, or actually, a, a simple ducal infantryman does the job. Um, this is where we imperial resources, and then sacrifice the focus for 
resources and play the Ducal Infantryman in front. And I can do a lot of stuff next turn, like Arvalester Tempo Theft, or Fields of Double Fields of Strife. Try to win the game really fast. I didn't get to use the scroll yet. I didn't get to use the Storm, Storm Knight thing or the Fields of Strife thing, which are the new additions to this deck. Okay, so it doesn't bother me too much. Let's see what I can do. Arlester Tempo Theft Wood. Six, three, one. It's Tempo Theft. Let's bother you so I can kill you. And that was a pretty good pother. Um, I'm going to keep those fields of strife. I'm just going to go ahead and kill you while I can. I'll go with the Arvalister. And Tempo Theft. You. So I can destroy you. I'm rid of you. And I would like to get as much attack buff as possible. You are you are uh, in danger of a kinfolk veteran, but that's fine. Kinfolk, not one kinfolk veteran is not going to drop bring him back into this game. Okay, so double fields of strife next turn maybe. Uh, remember, three of my units on the board right now are not knights, so they won't get the fields of strife buff. But this thing wouldn't even matter. It's five countdown. Five countdown. Hmm. Resonance is one sweet. Wait a minute. Or never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say if I could have gone gotten the Arlester to attack without having to temp up my own unit and up up another unit on his side, but that would have a two countdown. So you would get two counts in, and would you end up with actually two counts in the end, or one count in the end? Because, uh, you, as we know, you count down by one when you play a spawn enchantment. Gustly Izuler. It's a new scroll. Um, I'll keep that. Keep both of those. It should be GG. So, good game, well played. Fields of Strife. Fields of Strife. Nine. We can't even get this guy to go off. We're so close. Wait, how come you... You're just at nine. Wait. Oh, oh I get it. I get it. I know what's going on. I know what's up. I know what's up. So now you have ten. And now... You have seven. And just for good measure, we can have a lot of attack and have this guy one count up. We're so close to getting him to attack. So that's what Fields of Strife can do. I'm glad we got to use that. They do stack, as we know all the lingering spells do. And I hope you all enjoyed that match. So um, you guys asked for test server stuff. I brought it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the energy one. Uh, I might do some cool stuff with Grave Locks. But that'll be it for today. So thank you all for watching. So make your top places, top scrolls, plays of the week. Like the video if you enjoyed, dislike the video if you did not enjoy, and subscribe for more content like this. This has been Nerp here, and please keep playing Scrolls, everybody, and I will see you all tomorrow.